Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. And this video uh, today, as per the title, is going to be uh, on. Uh, it's going to be for the Maxisys, and it's going to be on a 2008 or 2007 uh, Ford Fiesta with the 1.25 petrol engine, and um, and that's what's going to be. So let's going to see what the Maxisys can do on this car and how well it works and let's gonna go for it so let's gonna plug the the Maxisys and um, and scan the car so ignition on and as always let's gonna try the auto detect which worked beautifully Okay, so this is the Fiesta, this is the five door, being a 2007 or 2008, it's going to be that. So there is, that's correct. And this is my first menu. Vehicle profile is going to take us to the screen where it shows, uh, show us everything about the car. Um, I will show you the odd function which is mainly shortcuts for uh, or most likely will be shortcuts for other stuff you can do inside the modules service uh, body parts system chassis braking is going to be the bleed powertrain self-explanatory okay so as always let's gonna do the diagnosis and let's gonna do an auto scan okay quite quick and it found six modules and as always let's gonna go for the first module PCM PCM uh, I think I've done the last video someone wants to see the codes so let's gonna see the codes doesn't really matter because we're not going to be doing nothing with them but okay I know about that one because I've been fixing the remote if you watch my videos uh, you're going to see the remote on this car was not responding correctly and um, I never made a video for the fixing of the key but it was just poor contacts inside we cleaned them uh, we, we, we got it sorted it's working absolutely spot on now um, but anyway, we're gonna go back. We can do um, erase. Why not? Yes, yes. Okay, and as you're gonna see, we're gonna have one code now. Which is that code that you can completely ignore. Okay. So, from here we have live data. The kind of normal stuff, I would say. And then active tests, self-explanatory, and that was my PCM, ABS, was no codes, so we don't need to go read codes, that's going to go straight to live data. And that's one page, uh, normal stuff, speed sensors, and stuff like that. Not a lot though, but there is active tests. Once again, the normal stuff, the inlets and outlet valves, pumps, uh, 
oh initializations for the rate uh, your rate sensors that that's a good one in there rear only blah 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 secondary low pressure valves yeah pressure transdu transducer uh, acceleration sensors initialization so the normal stuff really and that's it for our ABS airbags very poorly very poorly very poorly is all I can say okay not because we don't have special functions but because we don't even have live data very bad here uh, not sure what the uh, Ford IDS shows on here but uh, don't know if he shows anything really but I would say generally very poorly here so did we add codes on here? I don't know. Instrument cluster. Let's gonna check. Yes, we did. So we have uh, park brake switched ground, blah, blah, lost communications with gem module. Uh, if you watch my video, you'll know why was that code in there. It's gonna erase these codes. Okay, let's gonna read the codes again, see what comes back. Okay, so we have something about the park brake switch. Not really sure because the light for the parking brake is actually working. So, well, whatever. I'm gonna go back. Live data. That's one page of live data. That's it. Not, not much. Active tests. Uh, once again, self explanatory. And now we're going to go to audio. Okay, read codes. Can read the codes, why not? I don't know why I read the codes because. I got a lot of people saying that I should read the codes. They want to see the codes. Don't know why, but there we go. I don't even know if it's codes. That's the self check. That's the self check. Battery control module, BCM. I don't think there is a battery control module on this. But we will erase that. Live data. That's my live data. We don't need to go reread the codes because it's gonna read it now. So we don't need to go there. Uh, and we have the last one but not least. Generic mode, let's gonna read the codes, our body control module, let's gonna read the codes, and my codes are That's my codes Lights uh Switch for the door, uh, HR circuits, blah blah blah. Let's gonna go back, erase these codes. Yes, yes. Okay, let's gonna go live data. So most of my live data is status of of some components, and that's that's it really. That's one page. Or a little bit more back active tests self explanatory go back back two faults I'm not worried with those faults now uh, what we have seen here is that oh um, I'm gonna, yeah 
is that we do actually have um, stuff on here that was not uh, available on our uh, inside our module so this is the different way of doing stuff brake pleat I don't know if it works uh, I'm not gonna perform this the option is here maybe it doesn't work maybe this module doesn't support that but the option is here IMO and keys I'm sure this is a slightly different uh, this will is going to access to it obviously there we go so providing this um, providing um, I'm not going to do it but providing the 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 Maxisys can actually do it we have these options here to program keys okay obviously the PATS system is part of the PCM but for some reason it doesn't access it through there uh, dynamics we've seen this uh, on the other page if you remember throttle reset we've seen this on the other module as well odometer 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 right this is only when you have a new module obviously uh, under the service it's gonna see what we have here as well so security once again is gonna take us to paths chassis braking is going to take us to bleed so another way another shortcut to the places powertrain we've seen uh, that's why we've seen that and uh, the obd on board diagnostics and uh, programming that's the last one uh, okay so programmable module initialization uh, installation sorry we're not going to do that for obvious reasons Everything is installed on the car. I don't want to mess with that. Programmable para, programmable parameters. Parameters, uh, we can. So that one we have seen that. We're not going to touch it. Odometer right. We 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 seen a shortcut for that as well. We're not going to touch it. Audio configuration. We don't have that those modules the SRM so obviously it does not connect to the module which makes sense uh, exterior lightning approach lamps I see is disabled we're gonna leave it but we there is an option here to enable that then we have personality we have this audio repeater display uh, disable it, uh, eat it, uh, windshield, enable it. Uh, this car came with this disabled. Watch my other videos and you'll see uh, exactly uh, how we did it or what the problem was. Power folding mirrors, not uh, equipped and is not. It's just normal electric mirrors. Uh, radio clock uh, enabled. Yes, there is. It is enabled. And that's the only options here. Escape, okay. And power door locks is gonna give us the option to double locking with the remote if you press twice tailgate available when ignition on it says yes this actually should be off to be honest with you I don't know if it's with the engine running because if you press this with the engine running it's not gonna be very good because you open the boot while you're driving so it should have be actually be coded uh, off but is how it is I'm gonna leave it tailgate release remote Give for once, yes, that's correct. What can you do? Oh, you can actually code the key so you press twice on the remote to open the boot, but it says once. Um, and that's the options uh, we have for programming uh, with the Maxis on this car, and that's the end of it, really. So, a quite quick video 14 minutes, uh, not very long, and now not a lot of modules to go through, to be honest. So this was the Maxi Sys on this 2007 uh, Ford Fiesta uh, and uh, a verdict I would say quite good. Um, I'm sure IDS will give me much more programming uh, capabilities but nevertheless it's quite good that you have that here. Uh, airbags quite poorly I'm not sure what IDS once again what IDS shows you. Uh, on my data but it was very poorly um, on here not a lot especially when you are looking to resolve issues but hey that's what it is 
Uh, overall, I would say it's not bad. Um, quite good. Um, I had lots of problems with this car, or I had a massive, I had a, a, a good problem with this car. I only used Maxxis to sort it out, as I said, and repeat it myself. Watch my other videos. Uh, that video probably will be posted before. Uh, if not, just wait for it to come live. So that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, well, I don't know. I hope there's some information here that help you to decide if you should get this tool or not. I don't know. Just hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do have any questions, any comments, you know, put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.